So here we have the mini five door hatchback on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well. We have a 60 40 split folding rear seat and then this tray section, which can fold down to either give you a flat entrance to the boot or more space underneath it. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. So on the left hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle and the fuel gauge over on the right hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles of the car, which are 13,674. You can change the information displayed above that by using a button on the end of the indicator stalk. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer, which you can see being displayed now. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, on the left hand side you can see that we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side stereo and phone controls the stereo itself is touch screen over in the center just here so to pair your phone you'd hit that and then manage mobile devices and connect a new device you can use it all as touch screen as you've just seen me do or you can use the system down here which is this dial you can do virtually everything from the dial you do have a collection of buttons that surround it but the dial as i say will do most things for example rotate that round to radio and media we have dab fm am radio uh, am included with, within dab um, we have bluetooth audio so you can stream music wirelessly usb input as well any of those menus you want to go into just press that button down we can go back to the main menu we have satellite navigation there's a full video showing how the sat nav works on our website and youtube channel but a really nice clear color display as you can see below that we have dual zone climate control so you can adjust the passenger, the driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is on at the minute, so off, back on again. Or hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you. Press auto again to turn that off. We have a heated driver's seat, we have a heated passenger seat as well. We can recirculate the air that's in the car, that's a good way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly. We have heated rear screen and a heated front screen. We can start and stop the engine from here. We can turn the traction control on and off. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is now off. We can turn the parking sensors on and off and we can change the driving setup of the car. So we can put the car into green, mid mode, which is everyday driving and sport mode. And then finally, we have a six-speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.